Hello everyone, welcome to another Weathering Waves video. Today I'll be going over all 5 star standard banner characters, laying out the pros, cons, and my thoughts on their designs so you can make the right choice on your 5 star selectors. I'm doing a $5 giveaway through Cash App on this video for someone to buy themselves a Lunite subscription or really do whatever they please with it. All you have to do to enter is like, subscribe, and comment below who your favorite 5 star standard banner character is and why. To start out, Zhan Jin is probably the most underrated character on the banner. She is a very jack of all trades, master of none playstyle with solid DPS, some heals, and some shields. She can group enemies up and set up ally combos. If you are using Jun Jin in her best situations with solid game understanding, her DPS can rival that of the higher tier characters of the game. Overall, I personally see Jun Jin as the unit you're most likely to choose off the basis of just enjoying her visual design. She is a very, very beautiful character, and her animations are stunning. Talcharo is the best damage dealer on the banner. But to maximize his DPS, he can also be the most mechanically intensive. Comparatively, Xi'an, the current premium banner character, is a character where maximizing your DPS is basically using your ultimate and just spam clicking. Kalcharo benefits far more from actually hitting his combos, which can definitely be considered an upside or a downside depending on how casual and relaxed you want to take the game from a combat standpoint. Kalcharo's value will also be heavily increased upon release of Lightning Mommy Yinlin due to her electro buffing sub DPS playstyle. So if you plan on pulling Yinlin, grabbing a Kalcharo should be your number one choice for the selector. He in my opinion has the most badass design of any character in the game. His looks, his voice lines, his animations, pretty much everything about his character is objectively straight fire. Verena in the current state of the game is far and away the best support, which also lands her the number one pick of the standard banner from a meta point of view. In the end game modes, you'll need three teams, so investing in her is very smart considering she'll need to be power crept three times in order for her to not be an integral member of your team. Speaking of team comps, she fits into pretty much every single one due to her giving your team a universal damage buff. I actually really like her playstyle more than I thought I would. She feels very fast paced and hold herself in the air to do aerial combos and her heal is the easiest thing ever to proc since it's just her intro. So when she's glowing, you swap to her and boom, heals. If you're waiting for me to give you a downside, I honestly haven't found one yet. That's of course unless you just don't like how she looks. In my experience, she seems to be one of the most polarizing characters. Some love her design, some hate her design. Many people feel indifferent to it and wouldn't mind at least one copy of her just due to her power level. I personally have that third feeling. Quite the transition from Verena is Ying Lang, who is easily the worst 5 star in the game by pure meta standpoint. His numbers and combos are just straight up the weakest. It's kind of funny to use Cryo because that in addition with his power level gives him a high commonality with Yan Jing from Hong Kai Star Rail. In my opinion, his design is also the weakest. I'm just not a fan of the little furry boy. As for his playstyle, it's actually very unique. He jumps around a lot and focuses on aerial attacks. This kind of playstyle can be very fun and is the main reason you would probably be choosing this character. Last, but definitely not least, is Encore. Encore's downside is that she needs a lot of time compared to other characters to use her charged attack. But if you're a good mechanical player who can perform swap cancelling, you can avoid that weakness. Swap cancelling is basically when you swap to another character after queuing an ability to prevent getting locked into completing an animation that charging would leave you vulnerable to attack. Similar to orb walking in League of Legends if you're familiar with that game and mechanic. Otherwise, she deals a lot of damage and on Pridewind's tier list, very close to if not on the same level as Kalcharo. This will however change with Yinlin's release as Kalcharo will have an insane buffer to pair with him. Personally, Encore is my second favorite design on the standard banner. The ultimate is so cute. Thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, subscribe, and share what standard banner 5 star character you will be picking and why in the comment section below to be entered into a giveaway. The winner will be revealed one week from now on the first day of June.